In this After Effects video, we're gonna talk about syncing motion graphics to music. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So the title says it all and we're gonna talk about three techniques to syncing motion graphics to music. So there's a wide range of use for this tutorial because we're gonna be talking about just motion graphics in general, but specifically syncing them to music. So there's a wide range of use from this. So let's go and jump in the video and let's get started. So for our first technique, we're gonna talk about the most important motion graphic technique to syncing graphics to music, and that's changing your background and color palette. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects, and we already have our title and our background already laid out in here. However, before we jump into the technique portion of this, I actually wanna show you guys really quick how you can sync up titles uh, to your music so you know where those sync markers are at. So what you do is you bring in your soundtrack, which is down here already, and you hit LL on your keyboard to see all the audio waveform right here. And typically just by looking at it, you can see the beats in the song, but we're not going to do it that way. What we're going to do is we're going to see our title right here and we can stretch it out across our entire composition just like this. So this is our main title. And what we'll do is we will, you know, listen to the song. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it on YouTube. All right. So we know there's a beat right there. I don't know if you heard that, but let's just assume that you did. And what we'll do is we'll go to edit split layer. So this is where we're syncing text to each beat. So we know this is one title right here. And then boom, we have our next title and we can you know type out our next word. And then once again, we would listen forward and we know that there's another beat right here. And we would know this you know sh keyboard shortcut for split layer. And we would split the layer and type out our text. And then we would repeat this technique all the way to the end of our soundtrack. And this is a very quick way to sync your titles to music. So this is currently what we have with our soundtrack. So obviously this looks and sounds good with the music synced up to our titles. Uh, but now let's go ahead and spice this up and really make this video a little bit more interesting. So, you know, depending on what you do, you can make something that looks good. So I like our first slide and this is kind of defining the color palette. So on our next, you know, title screen here, what I would like to do, what I'll do is I'll grab our solid red background, which is ending right at the you know, our sync word. I'm gonna bring this, you know, background all the way into our, you know, to only be on our word sync. So our, you know, next word is on a transparent background. And then I'll go to layer new solid. And I'll change the color from here to white and click okay. And we can call it BG white. And I'll grab the endpoint and bring that in. And I'll split the layer right here. And boom, now we can't see our title. Good job. So what we'll do here is select our title and then we can come here to our white palette and we'll select our red from our previous background by grabbing the eyedropper and we can select that red icon in the uh, timeline. And as you see, it has a nice tonality impact on our overall video. And another cool technique that you can employ other than using solid backgrounds is actually using photos. So, you know, I have this landscape photo right here and we can bring this right into our, you know, composition, bring it underneath our third word and we bring that endpoint to sync up at that one word moment. And if this is brighter than it needs to be, just hit T on your keyboard for opacity and we can lower the opacity of this layer and it blends nicely in there. So these are a couple of techniques that you can employ to help you know change the mood of your video by changing the colors of your titles, changing the backgrounds. And this is a nice way just to boom, here's more attention to detail on this. So as you can see, adjusting your background and color palette has a huge effect on syncing your motion graphics to the beat. But in this next technique, I wanna talk about creating fast title animation. So our animation is really coming together with everything in here, uh, but let's add a little bit more you know, character to this with some title animations that we can quickly create. So I'll just take our graphics title here, just for example, and we can open up our title and we'll come here to the animate tab and we can add something like tracking. And you have a wide range of different parameters in here that I invite you to experiment with. And if you need help with this, go ahead and check our links in the video description. We actually created a cool video on just using these uh, animate properties that are really dynamic. So go ahead and check the link in the video description if you want to learn more. But from here, what we can do is increase the tracking amount and it'll kind of open up our title like this. And then we'll come here to the range selector one and we'll add a keyframe for start. And we can move forward just by a few frames, maybe like five at most and we'll set it up to 100%. So now we have something like this. So boom, it graphics just come in like that and it has a nice little animation to it. And since we also have another beat on this title, which is right here, what we can do to help sync this up, we can hit S on our keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it and move forward by one frame. And then we increase the scale just by a little bit. So maybe 116. 
and we have another beat right here so perhaps we'll just do another scale keyframe and then we'll move forward by one frame and we can bring this back down so that looks pretty good and that's synced up very nicely at the start so there's a lot of ways that we can use this animate tab to create all these you know transitions and whatnot but i really think for this type of video the tracking one is the best and like i said check that link in the video description if you want to create more now if you're looking to save time i highly suggest checking out this plugin that i have for after effects called animation composer which allows us to quickly drag and drop animation presets to titles and layers so we can recreate animation just within seconds instead of taking hours of animation for projects like this so for example, let me show you how this works. So here's our title motion. We can come here to transition presets and I have a folder called text and I'll drop this link in the video description. There's multiple packs for animation composer and there's over a thousand animation presets in each pack. So I can come here to animate characters, which is going to animate each of the characters individually. So we can find something that we like in here. So maybe a folder, like maybe we'll just take a look at scale and we come here to basic and we click on this open folder and grid preview and we can see all the animations right here. And we see how these work out and i like these right here so this is scale character from star 3 and i can just click on apply and it'll apply it to the layer that i had selected so what we need to do here it adds a marker and we can just bring this in and by a little bit so we can speed up the animation so now it's animation and now i created this unique animation within just a drag and a drop and i can quickly do this to other layers as well so perhaps i'll do like the scale and skew that i'll apply as in and here is our animation that we drag and drop within a second and you can use this for pretty much any After Effects project you don't have to use it just for this specific project it has wide range of use across any After Effects project that requires animation and it's not just for titles but it's also for normal 2D layers like shape layers or shapes but essentially this plugin allows you to save hours of time just by drag and dropping these presets so if you want to start saving time on long After Effects projects I'll drop a link to Animation Composer in the video description so now we have the makings of a great motion graphic scene that's synced up to music, but now let's go ahead and spice this up a little bit and let's add some extra motion graphic elements. So now I want to talk about using graphics to help spice this up. So let's take a shape layer here at the top, we'll come here to rectangle tool, and with no layer selected, what we'll do is we'll draw out a rectangle over our title here, just like this, and we'll come here to the line tab and we'll center this up with the center buttons. If you don't see the line tab, go to window align. And boom here's our you know a rectangle we'll bring this layer underneath our title which is width and then we'll come here to shape layer and where's the track mats at we'll set this to alpha inverted mat and this will allow us to see right through our title like this and if we want we can change the color of the fill here at the top we can set it to white or whatever color we want i think white looks good on this and boom now we have a hollowed out view of this graphic and then what i suggest doing here is select the title and the shape layer and we can go to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it width and boom and then we'll bring in the endpoint here and then we'll hit s on our keyboard for scale and we'll add a keyframe for scale we'll move the keyframe forwards by a few frames and we'll set the scale down to zero percent we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting f9 on our keyboard so now we have this graphic title in here just like that so now we have the ability to work with graphics with our titles and you just don't have to use rectangles but what i want to do here is actually create more of an element here like a distortion so we're going to go ahead and do that right now so what we'll do is go to layer new solid and we'll call it fractal all right and click okay and go to effect noise and grain and add fractal noise so now we kind of have this weird fog in here and what we can do is come over to fractal type and set this to max and then come here to noise type and set this to block and now what we'll do from here is we'll increase the contrast by you know a little bit and bring down the brightness so we'll bring the brightness down to negative 200 or so like negative 150 and then we'll contrast to about 200 then we'll come here to the transform property right here and we'll uncheck uniform scaling and from here we can increase the uniform or the scale width to about 400 until you kind of get these wider blocks and we can decrease the height and of course if you want to add more in here we can adjust the contrast by increasing it you know i think we're fine from here we can animate the evolution if we really want which i could just add a keyframe really quick go to the end of our animation and just you know increase the evolution and then we'll go to, and then we'll pre-compose this layer and we'll call it uh, map and move all attributes into new composition and then we'll go up to layer new adjustment layer and then we'll go to effect distort and we're going to add displacement map set the displacement map layer to map and turn off the map layer in the timeline and now we can kind of start seeing these distortions in here and we can increase the max horizontal displacement and the vertical displacement and you're going to get these juxtaposition you know 
frames like this and it looks pretty cool whatever you do make sure you check on wrap pixels around so you get rid of any you know you, so you don't have any of that you know things going on there and this is kind of what we have just like this and it can be a little bit crazy so what i was just doing just to make things a little bit more simple just bring in the endpoint of your adjustment layer and then you know split the layer bring the endpoint in so you kind of have that normal moment and then we can continue to do this so we have some distortion and then no distortion right and here's our distortion layer and it looks pretty cool so it adds us like a little bit of extra juxtaposition to all this and actually probably would be more strategic is to have this start off at the beginning of each layer and that would make it a little bit more you know uh purposeful so here's currently what we have and it looks pretty cool it might be overdone with this effect but just a cool technique that you can employ with your own videos so those are our three motion graphic techniques to syncing motion graphics to music so i hope you found this video helpful and if you did enjoy this video be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel sunduck film we post two post-production tutorials every week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the video description and always be creating